Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to write a small Java program to calculate the sum of mixed numbers. When you say mixed numbers, a list contains string and integers. We are going to use two methods. One is using the string and then reduce method to calculate the sum of these mixed integers. One important point is I have mentioned here as question mark, meaning a list of unknown. We don't know what type of objects are going to be stored here, whether it's a string or an integer. That's why I placed a question mark here. In the first method, we are going to receive this mixed numbers. It is unknown list. It's very flexible because I can get different types of objects. There is also a challenge because we don't know which type of objects placed inside the list. So we should be careful. I take this mixed numbers and create a string. And for each number, I'm going to check whether it is an instance of string. If it is string, then I'm going to get the integer value. Otherwise, I'll take the integer value as it is. If you look at this map method, it's a stream of integer object why do we need this map to int let's remove this method p the sum will not be available so this map will be returning stream of integers so we need to convert int stream so that we can call the sum method In the second method we are going to receive the mixed numbers and then create a stream first convert into a string and then convert into integer and finally use reduce api to calculate the sum so reduce api will take an expression it's going to take these values and accumulate to calculate the sum so it will be applying this formula on these values and calculate the sum. Finally, the result will be stored in the sum variable and printed in the console. When I run this program, I'm able to see using the stream and the reduce API, we are able to get 132 as a sum result. It's a very small program. What did I learn? The list of unknown types and then map to int. Why do we need it? And then reduce API. Hope this video is useful. Thank you.